you examine the patient, you see that there is that droopiness. The history seems to co coincide what you said before, that what myasthenic revs could be. What would you do to further make the diagnosis? Sure. And I think you lead with a very good question because really the most important thing is the physician sitting down with the patient, asking them questions about their symptoms, and then examining them. That's really the key to the diagnosis in all medical specialties, but especially in neurology. One of the reasons I love it so much. After you do that and you're convinced from a clinical standpoint that this is myasthenia gravis, there's several tests that you can help you confirm. So the first test I should check is called to measure the levels of the acetylcholine receptor antibody. That, one of the things about myasthenia gravis that's very exciting is that there's always new things uh, being discovered about it. When I first learned about it, it was the acetylcholine receptor antibody, and that's all it was. But uh, this antibody there's several antibodies that can affect the acetylcholine receptor in several different ways. It can bind to the acetylcholine receptor and just uh, comes off again or it can uh, block the uh, neuromuscular, uh, the acetylcholine receptor, or it can actually change or what we call modulating. So there's binding and there's blocking and there's modulating uh, antibodies. So you have to send the blood test to a special lab who knows, they know what they're doing, they know how to measure this.